Hey there everyone, King5 Meteorologist Adam Claibon here on this Tuesday afternoon. The update today, not going to be a long one. Quiet weather here as we go throughout today and really for a lot of the rest of the work week. Tail end of it could get a, get a bit wet. We'll talk about that. Plus we'll go over the colder air that comes in for the weekend and let you know what we're expecting as we head on into Sunday and Monday and possibly even into next Tuesday. First, let's go over what's happening out there right now and it's a lot of cloudy skies. The rain chances that we did have around uh, this morning, they are quickly beginning to decrease and a lot of the rain that was around those showers they were really light. So out in Tacoma, cloudy skies looking real gloomy out there. You can see some of the low clouds that we have here in Seattle currently kind of blocking uh, some of the skyscrapers or at least the tops of them here in the city. And then as we get here to uh, what we're expecting out along the coast, Westport right now seeing some cloudy conditions, but also at the same time too, some pretty damp conditions as you can see, maybe a few water droplets showing up on the coast there on the camera lens. But overall, it looks like our pattern is going to be relatively quiet. Just make sure that you have something warm because it is chilly. Now, this hasn't really changed a whole lot from yesterday. This is a look at the satellite view from outer space, and you can see pretty much from the Oregon coast all the way down to the California coast and even down to Mexico, clear skies, high pressure, and dominant control over those areas, but it looks like as soon as you get up here to Washington, that's where we have some of those clouds with that weak feature that's moving through here today. I, I, a few very light showers too, which has resulted in amounts of rain coming in less than a tenth of an inch across some of our northern communities for Quileute, Oak Harbor, Bellingham as well, and just one hundredth of an inch out at Ever uh, at Payne Field. So skies today remain relatively cloudy, a, a sunbreak possible, but it looks like generally cloudy skies forward to the rest of today and into the night. And as far as your current temperatures, we're in the low to mid 40s. So yeah, it's chilly. Not too much wind out there. That's going to help out with things with, when it comes to that. But as far as some of the showers that are moving through, right up there around Skagit, Whatcom County, moving through Camino and Whidbey Islands, a few patchy areas of drizzle to go along with that. Not a whole lot. High pressure continues to gain more and more control. And what that is going to do as we go throughout really the next couple of days is going to start to erode away some of these clouds, move a lot of the systems farther to the north, and keep that storm track going more like this and up and over and then down into center parts of the country. I got that right over us actually, but it's going to be a little farther to the north and then off towards the east there and go over into the Rockies and eventually into the plains. So yes, it does set us up for a fairly quiet pattern here as we go throughout your Wednesday and your Thursday. Uh, Friday early on, we might see some dry conditions, uh, possibly some sun breaks too early into the day, but it's going to keep things relatively warmer too. Temperatures mid to upper 40s for highs are still not quite up to average with that average at 49 degrees, but it's much warmer than what we're expecting by Sunday. That's the big drop in temperatures and you'll probably feel it too on Saturday as we'll see those highs earlier into the day in the mid 40s. Colder air coming in throughout the course of the day, helping to drop those numbers down more so. So here's a look future radar. Cloudy skies here for the rest of today. Those sprinkles and those patchy areas of drizzle beginning to uh, dissipate and then we go into Wednesday and you can see Wednesday morning. A few breaks in the clouds. More to come as we go later on into Wednesday afternoon and tomorrow should be a pretty nice day for today. Mainly cloudy skies temperatures in the mid to perhaps a few upper 40s. Looks like we're going to keep those generally farther to the south and out along the coast. 46 in Redmond, 44 in Redmond. Uh, we're going to top off at 44 in Monroe, 43 in Everett and then about 43 in Bremerton. South Sound, uh, 46 around Federal Way, 44 in Enumclaw. For tonight, it uh, looks like we'll get all that rain out of here. Back into the 30s, most of us will go. A few lower 40s kind of here and there. And then here's the seven-day forecast showing that we dry out for a couple of days. We see the rain chances coming through with the system that is going to usher in the colder air mass. And then those highs fall down into the 30s, Sunday and Monday. And those are just the daytime temperatures. You can see nighttime temperatures will drop down into the 20s and it's looking like it's going to be a cold start to next week. So another push of some really cold air heading its way in to western Washington as we head into it looks like the last week of January. Try to make sure to stay dry as possible, but it looks like most of the rain will not be impacting us here today. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and we'll talk to you later. For more local news coverage live and on demand, watch King 5 Plus. Download free on Roku and Fire TV.